In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take a flat texture like this that doesn't have any shading and turn it into this, which actually has dimension to it with just a couple clicks using a add-on called Deep Bump. I'm gonna put a link in the description for where you can get that. And what it does is it generates normal and height maps out of a single image. So let me show you how to do it. So in Blender, I'm gonna delete everything and start off with the plane, although you can add the uh, texture to anything. I'm gonna go to the shading workspace, go here and add in an image texture. So this uh, method, by the way, works with anything and make sure you have Deep Bump installed for this. So I'm taking my texture, plugging it into the base color. You can see it's visible right here. And in the render tab, if we add a light source to this, it's not really reacting to this at all. Let me actually make that light a bit stronger. It, it's not reacting to this at all. So uh, once you have Deep Bump installed, all you have to do is click your texture, hit N. You're gonna see the Deep Bump menu, and then we are gonna first generate a normal and then a height map. For the tiles overlap, you can basically think of this as quality versus speed. Uh, large is gonna be high quality at low speed, and then, you know, vice versa. I'm gonna choose medium and generate a normal map, which is gonna take a second. So you can see our normal map was not only generated, so this is the high quality normal map, but already sent through a normal map node and connected. Uh, so now when we view this, you're gonna see uh, this texture has a bit of dimension, but we could go even crazier. So take the normal map, and I know, crazy. <laughs> take the normal map, select it, and then uh, generate a height map from this. So again, this is gonna take a second. And here you can see we have our height map, which is a black and white, you know, factor image. Uh, to actually use this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this through a bump node. So normal map goes into the normal map, and the bump goes into the height, or I guess the um, the height goes into the height. Uh, so this is gonna be a bit of an intense of an effect. Uh, you wanna just take the strength and bring it down a bit, and this is gonna make it more reasonable. And now this thing has tons of dimension and it works uh, in the same way that, you know, any material works. So I could like distort it and uh, this light source is going to uh, act on this uh, surface uh, the way that you would expect. 